Hello guys and welcome to a new War Thunder video. I know I haven't done one in literally forever, but today I'm going to be talking about the MiG 19S. So I acquired this plane, I don't know, like a couple of months ago, and I've been playing it, and it's been loads of fun. But in order to understand that, you need to go back to its predecessor, which is MiG 15 bis. If it loads, obviously the OG top tier um, German plane, apart from C13. But MiG 15 bis overall with the supersonic jets and the faster jets hasn't really been having the best of times but it's still quite fun to play and then you go to the MiG 19S and literally it's a MiG 15 bis but better and by that I don't mean oh it's really maneuverable etc etc I just mean the things that the MiG 15 bis was known for such as climb rate is just taken to a whole new level and so let's talk a little bit about the MiG 19S before we jump into a game so First of all, I mean, it's obviously far faster. It's supersonic, although I haven't quite managed to reach uh, max level or max speed on ground level. But I mean, I'm not really speeded. You can see I still have the engine compressor to go, which I mean, perhaps should have been a compressor a while back, but whatever. But I mean, in high altitudes, it is definitely supersonic. It can go really fast. I've done like Mach 1.3 around about there at yeah, high altitudes. I mean, I forgot what altitude it was but it is quite fast high altitudes and along with that comes a ridiculous rate of uh, climb so you might see a little bit of that in this uh, replay but it is really really fast you can see 161 meters per second and again I don't even have engine upgrades I don't have the engine nor the compressor so obviously it's, it's really really fast even stock you outclimb everything apart from maybe the T2 if it's speeded but it's unlike anything I've ever played before like in 5 minutes you can reach maybe I don't know 10,000 meters it's really really something else especially um, compared to the MiG-15 BIS which I mean, back then you know it was known to have the best rate of climb in the game but not anymore obviously and then we come to um, another feature which is the cannons so if you didn't know I grind out the MiG-19S using the MiG-15 BIS and one thing that consistently annoyed me was just how annoying the cannons were to aim Obviously, once you hit, they do cause a bit of damage. And so, MiG 19S, I expected it to be just better because I have the rotary cannons or whatever they're called, revolver cannons, I think. Similar to the Hunter, which I also have, I might make a video in it later. Um, however, yeah, that's kind of true. I mean, it has really, really good cannons. They definitely, if you hit, as you'll see, if you hit, um, the enemy plane is gone, it's immediately destroyed, or we've got a really really good crit on it. And that's probably because of bad aim, so you just got you know you clipped off an enemy's wing. However, as you can see here, the bad feature which really kind of lets this plane down is the ammunition count. So 210 for three cannons is 70 rounds, which is you know it's, it's playable, but it's very li little for these cannons, are 70 rounds each, and they fire really quickly. And of course, when you're still trying to learn the lead for these guns, what will happen is you just spray and then you miss and then you don't have any ammo, they need to return. And what makes this kind of more difficult is the rudder of this plane is uh, it's, it's decent. I mean, it, it works, obviously, but it's not exactly the best. So you'll often see, you know, you find it kind of hard, especially at high speeds, to get your guns on target. But apart from that, it is a nice plane. It's also like a beautiful plane. I mean, look at that. It's a nice plane, and let's get into a battle. Okay, so here we are in the replay. So, just log in here. Again, I'm sorry that I couldn't get the actual video of me actually playing the battle, but I, sometimes I get issues recording longer battles, so uh, thankfully I saved this replay. So what I'm really showing here is kind of, you know, the problems that you might face playing the MiG 19S, and as you soon see, the main one is the ammo count, as I mentioned earlier. However, there's one thing I didn't mention loads of, and that is there's a plane there on a runway, and it's the big old fat Mitsubishi T2. Now, calling the T2 is, I mean, let's, let's talk about the MiG 19S. Okay, like I said, it's got really, it's really fast, it's got a really good rate of climb. The T2 is also really fast, and it wasn't like the CL13 Hunter speed difference back in the good old days. Um, or old days. Um, the T2 is far, far, far faster than the MiG 19S. It's fast accelerating. You can already see him pulling away the bottom left. Or maybe not quite yet. But 
it's definitely a faster plane and so unfortunately when you try to use the speed to your advantage against all the other planes that you face the T2 does really cause a bit of a problem I mean it's not the end of the world the T2 it is faster but uh, it's got far worse energy retention and so if you catch it when it's turning then it's the end for it and also I mean it has missiles but the missiles apart from the SRAMs which I might do a video on aren't like the most reliable and cannon T2 cannon is okay I suppose I mean sometimes as you'll soon see uh, it does lots of damage other times it's not really T2 also has radar as well so you can see here what I'm doing is I'm climbing a 10 degree climb usually I would climb a 30 degree climb but quite importantly in this map it's a night battle so visibility is really really low as you will also see and what I don't want to be doing is being caught up high with the T2 with radar and radar guidance for his cannons and me not being able to see him until the last second or even at all so I thought okay 10 degree climb just so I have like some altitude I can work with and I right about now I don't know whether you can see him but I spot a MiG-19 there we go MiG-19S and I thought okay look I know I don't have the engine modifications but I think I can you know at least go for the MiG-19 kind of deny him there around our teammates because I mean the MiG-19 and the T2 are the two big dogs because it's usually only axes versus axes the two big dogs and so I don't really want any issues with him uh, going in and basically destroying our team or well, at least our 9.2 9.3 jets so I climb after him but as you can see I, I literally can't find him it's too dark it's night battle I can't see his name I spotted before you know the AA shooting at him or shooting at something so I thought I can find him but nah no luck and you can see as well just with the Nimbleman I already climbed 2000 meters and this is climbing badly you see actually the AA shooting at something and I spot at this point like a dot so I thought okay let's just go after him again I should have the advantage here because I'm diving down on him I know I just turned but this plane in the dive catches speed really well as well and so you know diving down and now I can't see him I missed him again I think also with the replay there's a bit of a bug with um, the vapor cone when you uh, approach max speed because usually in this actual game I had a large vapor cone around my plane you see I heard a plane just pass by me and I spot or soon spot kind of like a flash or an orange light which I assumed was the engine of the MiG-19S so I chase him or try to chase him I mean I can't see him properly yet if I go in the general direction hopefully I get lucky and as for the rest of the team they're in a huge kind of fur ball as often happens in jet games I spot that um, F-40 I think it's the premium F-40 Sabre I'm not too sure he's turning he's dodging I think I'm not, not really going to go for it but I'll go for it anyway uh, as he turns into my guns I give him a blast and I destroy him and as I said with the MiG-19S's cannons I mean if you get a hit then it's the end what I'm doing now is I'm climbing uh, the plane performs really well at high altitudes you can reach like Mach 1.3 I've done at high altitude just level flight get afterburn on you can just power through so I noticed these two T2's fighting and usually when you see two T2's like drilling out one of them or both of them will be really slow so I go for this T2 here and shoot him but I miss because I haven't played the MiG-19S in a while so the cans are a bit you know but anyway I loop back round and get him skill number two it's a T2 as well which is really valuable for the team and I was quite happy with the kill as well so I see this CL-13 CL-13's CL-13B is dangerous the CL-13A isn't as dangerous to you because first of all it's slower and also you know missiles so what I do quite nicely, I think, ah, it's your 13, I mean, it's not the target, because, I mean, when I play this plane, I usually miss quite a few shots, but now I have two kills, so I'm feeling quite confident, you know, I think I finally nailed the shooting, or the aiming aspect, so I think, you know, I'm now a MiG-19 ace pilot, and the better ever was, 
And so I thought, okay, let's go for this plane then. I'll dive low, try and get him. So obviously I knew that I'll be faster than this L13, which it itself is quite a fast plane. But I see him climbing. I thought, okay, now I definitely have the advantage. But he obviously sees me and tries to do a turn. He turns over to go to his team. And you know, I see him. I try to take a shot. Um, just about missed him. You can see how close those trees are. It's such a like I nearly got him, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. And I miss him again. I can't really see his name because it's a night battle, visibility is bad, etc. etc. So I think okay, well I mean I should be safe from this L13. He's just turned, he's slow, and I'm just in a generally faster plane. I can see also on max speed as well. There's no vapor cloud for the uh, replay file or the replay. So again, sorry about that. CL13 pops up. Thought I'd go for him, but nah. All this time, I'm just thinking, okay. I mean, we have 9.0 jets facing two T2s. I mean, it's not looking good. Thought maybe I should turn back and go for either MiG-15 or CL13. So I loop back over and see the T2. The T2 again, slow. Look at that. Look at that. He just turned. And I bet you'd be going far slower than he should be. And so I popped the air brakes. I know that I need to pull out of this really quickly, otherwise I'll crash. So, I take a shot, take another shot, and I got him. That's three kills. And I pull out as well, so I'm all safe. However, when I talked about low ammo for this plane, I really meant it. I only now, as I remember, had 15 rounds left, so that's five shots. That's, I don't know, a fraction of a second worth of firing. Which, you know, you can do something with it, but I didn't feel comfortable going in an engaged fight or longer fight with three planes with 15 rounds, because that's five rounds each, basically, which is like a shell and two thirds from each cannon, which is that's unnecessary maths. So I thought, you know what, I'll go back to base. And you see me here releasing my air brakes because, you know, I messed up, putting back down again. All this time I'm thinking, well, I mean, this is jet gameplay. The T2 is their fastest plane in the game. I think anyone could be zipping down trying to get me as I land. And you can see the map in the bottom right. This plane being chased by another plane. The dot just disappeared off the map. And I noticed this, so I turn around. Because what I don't want to do is, as I'm landing, someone kills me. So I see there's a T2, RT2, this flying past me, I thought, okay, 15 rounds, I see an enemy plane, I could be a hero here, let me see, and I just about miss, which I'm still to this day not too sure if I actually missed or not, but hey, I didn't get anything, and that's it, no ammunition at all, and that was big, because had I not missed, we would have won the game, which unfortunately we didn't, but, yeah, spoiler alert, sorry, I'm now in a big, uh, big predicament, you can hear this guy, I literally just spotted him. Thankfully he missed. But now, my current situation is I'm slow and slow, no ammunition, and I have one T2 behind me, possibly two. I'm trying to land, someone else was landing. So I thought, I also lost a T2 as you can see, I can't find him at all. I thought what I'll do is I'll try to drag this T2 out so he doesn't go for my friendly T2 and then, you know, he can rearm, take off and then he cover me whilst I land and we could probably do something about it. And so that's what I try and do. It's MiG-15 as well, our MiG-15 in distance being bullied by MiG-19. I mean really MiG-15 is such like there's nothing can do really against the MiG-19. If, you, if you're patient you're MiG-19s you're completely out of class MiG-15. It's such a huge leap. I mean I know I couldn't really do anything about it. The spot has been I spotted in the chat that RT2 in the airfield was actually killed, so now I basically by myself, I mean, the MiG-15, I would have helped him, but I can't do anything really. So I turned to base. And by the way, I thought the T2 that was chasing me killed the guy in the airfield, which I think he did, so I should be clear for now to land. And something that's quite interesting actually about the MiG-19 is that it's incredibly, incredibly easy to land. So with the Hunter, which hopefully I'm making a video on soon, I always, like, when I land, I need to rip off a wing to sacrifice so I can lose some speed so I can actually stop on the runway. But look here, I mean, really fast 
poke speed. It's a really short runway as well. It's one of the two alternate history crimson ones, which are like not the longer ones. So, you know, I would never have thought of actually doing this approach speed with the hunter because at low speeds it just doesn't really want to give away energy. But the MiG-19 does, which is good because I remember that was a problem with the ME-262 ME back in the days of 1944, you know, when it couldn't really land properly because it just didn't like giving up speed, but that's a history lesson for another day. But either way, as you can see, one way and me. I need I needed preferably to land as quickly as possible and rearm and take off again before the enemy notices where I am. So on the final approach, losing speed, soon I put down my flaps and gear. And something that this plane has is a parachute at the back when you land and that really really helps as you can see because I was going at it like a not insignificant speed right here. But you know, as soon as I landed the parachute opened up as you'll see there we go and look at that deceleration on the runway I mean that makes this plane just amazing to fly it is such a nice plane to fly just how fast it is its rate of climb its speed in general and just small things like landing and landing like comfortably in such a small runway I mean like I can't really see here but I couldn't have used much of a runway I try to kind of like fit into this bunker or sand bag thing or whatever just for protection because I knew I was the last person in my team there were I counted around three players left two T2s and a Mega 19 which is not good so I thought you know what I'll try and hide behind this structure or whatever it is and so hopefully I can rearm and repair also kind of had a problem I didn't know whether to J out afterwards and just lose the aim or try and find something However, I see there's a blind hunt order, and I thought, well, that's kind of the end now, isn't it? So, I jade out. As you'll soon see, I jade out. And I thought that was it. That was the over. That was the end. However, as you can see, the target changed to one of the enemy players. And as soon as I saw that, I thought, okay, I kind of have a shout, so I respawned. But as you can see on the minimap, I didn't notice this. There's an enemy plane. It's quite close and he sees me I see him in the last second I think oh no I try and bargain with him on the chat like please don't kill me I'll J out but I get eviscerated the T2 cannons did not uh, give me any mercy and yeah I'm dead so overall I mean what plane the MiG-19S is an amazing plane as you saw there it's quite capable Perhaps it's because of how badly the en energy is lost by the T2. It might be the best plane in the game. It certainly feels that way sometimes. Like, I control the game entirely um, apart from my ammunition count. So, it's such a nice plane to play. I would recommend grinding it if I were you, if you don't have it already. But, either way, thank you for watching. I hopefully, come out with some more videos soon, and goodbye.